Gentlemen, welcome on in here, ladies and gentlemen. Super Bowl Day, ladies and gentlemen. We got a great wrestling match. Before we start to the first half of the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen, yes, first half of the Super Bowl here. Man, I can't wait to see you Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. But, ladies and gentlemen, they go to the Phoenix Sun Arena to find out who's in the first match of this wrestling show here, ladies and gentlemen. Then we go to the football game. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's head over there right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first match up here from Phoenix, Arizona, the home of the Phoenix Sun, ladies and gentlemen, for the Super Bowl day, ladies and gentlemen, we got Seth Morrison versus Evan Gibson, ladies and gentlemen, I head to the arena for this match up here, ladies and gentlemen. And coming to the ring first, ladies and gentlemen, he's the lead guitarist for the band Skillet. They do have a new album dropping on February 17th, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you take them out here. And I'll be back soon as he gets done playing his little concert for you guys here. Damn, a lot of booing going on there, ladies and gentlemen, for this man. Just go ahead, boom out of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Boom out of the ring here in Phoenix, Arizona. I can't believe he's still trying to sing a song here for these fans out here booing him, ladies and gentlemen. They're ready for some wrestling. Not no dang on concert there, Seth Morrison. Gentlemen, he is done with that. That's right, he went as long as he did being booed by the crowd here, ladies and gentlemen. My God. And come to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. His competitor, Evan Gibson. A lot of crowd want him to win here tonight. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, we got the first half of the Super Bowl coming up right after this matchup here, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in for that. We're going to win that first half, ladies and gentlemen. Will it be Kansas City or will it be the Bill Dallas Eagles? I don't really care. My team's not in there. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Both men are ready for our first matchup here tonight here at... Super Bowl 57, ladies and gentlemen. The bell is wrong here. 
My God, what an uppercut there by Seth Morrison. He is ticked off by the crowd, pissing him off here, ladies and gentlemen. Evan Gibson come here, ladies and gentlemen. Referee, move out of the way. He's been doing duty at our regular Saturday show, ladies and gentlemen, before the Super Bowl. In this show, ladies and gentlemen, and he will be ready for the After Dark Super Bowl edition. That will be at 10, 30 p.m. on our YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. As Super Bowl over, make sure you check our YouTube here for more great wrestling action. Six more matches that evening coming your way here from Phoenix, Arizona, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Oh, my God. Don't look good for Edmund Gibson here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, ouch. Totally missed her, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes Evan Gibson throwing them haymakers there. Now he's going to single to the crowd and say, It's over with, ladies and gentlemen. He said, It's over with. He going to call his shot going to High Risk District. Beautiful elbow drop. He's going for that pin. One. That's a one count there. Beautiful Springboard Lion Salt there. Or. Moonsault, whatever you want to call it, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful belly. The belly slam. That's a reversal by Dang on. Seb Moore's in here. Whoop into the corner there. He got him up in the tree. tree. I said the tree. What? Yeah, the tree of woes there, Dang. Dang, don't know, interrupt me while I'm trying to call this match over here there, you stupid. Guys, go to the, watch the Super Bowl and quit messing with me. You know, Super Bowl's right up next, guys. Oh, my God, I guess these wrestlers need to go to the Super Bowl. I know it's just, they getting a ride there, but still, this match is almost over with, I think. Maybe, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. But the crowd's enjoying it here. Seth Morrison setting him up. Going to, oh, look at this strength by Seth Morrison, ladies and gentlemen. Stretching him out there. And a beautiful takedown, ladies and gentlemen. And two. Oh, this one look good for Evan Gibson, ladies and gentlemen. Face plant. And going for that pin. One, two. And three, ladies and gentlemen. Seth Morrison get the victory here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, over Evan Gibson. Here's some replays from our production team, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to our production team for putting these great replays out here for you, ladies and gentlemen. My God. Don't forget, we do have a halftime show right after the first half of the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. And here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. The Morrison! All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a quick match here, ladies and gentlemen. We will have a halftime match, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we don't do not no concerts here, nothing like that, ladies and gentlemen. No concerts here, it's all wrestling matches, ladies and gentlemen. They head, head over to the Super Bowl 57, ladies and gentlemen, for the first half, ladies and gentlemen. I know that we all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, to head over there right now, ladies and gentlemen. Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count it and it should be an epic from here. As it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon
Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, for these Kansas City Chiefs, they, of course, were Super Bowl champions three years ago. The win over the Niners in Miami. They fell to the Bucs in Tampa a couple years back. They had the blown lead in the AFC title game against Cincinnati last year. And now they're back making their third trip to the big game in four years. And their recent history only increases the urgency to try and win another Super Bowl title with this group. Meanwhile, it took until Super Bowl 52 for the Eagles to lift the Lombardi Trophy for the first time. And not too many players are left from that squad five years ago. But this new group is looking to write a new chapter of Eagles lore. Yeah, we certainly all remember that performance in the win over New England. Nick Foles throwing for 373 yards, catching the Philly special. The will go down as one of the most iconic play calls in Super Bowl history. Now they're back and looking to make it two titles in six years. a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. I think we all heard about it in the offseason. There were many questions asking if Philadelphia might consider bringing in another quarterback to replace Jalen Hurts. He answered emphatically, this is my team, and he led them to a Super Bowl appearance. A well-deserved moment for this quarterback who just kept his head down, kept working, and eliminated all the noise. They start on the ground here at Sanders. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Hurts sets up to throw it. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They lost two, and it brings up four. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Back deep is Kadarius Tony. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. He can't help but continue to marvel at how well this man's career has gone so far. Now in his fifth season as KC starter, he's never missed a conference title game, and he's taking the field in his third Super Bowl. Simply dominant, it's easy to envision him being one of the top quarterbacks for many years to come. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. That's what love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They go play fake. Mahomes. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. But they certainly came out firing in this one. And while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Hurts right there, taken in by Smith. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Another run with Sanders. Gets around him. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels.
So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory right at the 40. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply the offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Throwing his hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And they'll work this down inside the 30. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. That'll give them eight that time, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Brandon, this is the Super Bowl. A touchdown scored in any game is big. In this one, it's massive. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. taps this forward it's a jet sweep this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. a nice play design there with the touch pass looked good at the start but bottom line the defense was ready and they did a nice job scouting didn't they not just scouting but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice they drilled on the play then they drilled him from the 22 Mahomes he's going to find his running back it's complete that's good the completion there for seven yards and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches can't be more than a half a foot shotgun snap to Mahomes it's Kelsey on the ground and he will have a Chiefs first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago, so a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there, and they get the first down.
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. and the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Mahomes now to throw. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. A dump down to McKenna. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Three yards on it for Buster Barrett. And the good thing about coming to the game, I'm doing with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it, any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and ten at their own 13. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in the yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy this caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Another run here with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. With just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 11 yards for number 11. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. 
So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 43. 12 yards there as they move the chains. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And some space here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 52 yards rushing for him now in the opening quarter of this Super Bowl. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Hurt's going to give it to Sanders on the option. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. Yeah, and this could be a sign of what this defense is in for because you know all week long the coaches were preaching to the defense. You've got to be able to wrap up against a back like him or he can make you pay. Technique, technique, technique. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They go play action with Hurts. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run. I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option to run and play action, maybe throwing it. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And, in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Elliott now to have the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run.
after the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Locates Hardman for another catch. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come back and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Mahomes now on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. One quarter done and three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 14-0 is our score. You're watching the NFL on E. A sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20 yard line. The son Reddick. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now a toss here, short side. Yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 17. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Now he's at a big loss here as he's taken down. Hassan Reddick able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. 
Butker's kick here is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. This offense returns to the field, and the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we're going to look at him. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone, well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They run with Sanders off the option, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes it's a danger putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box and there's nowhere to run the football. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Hurt sets up to throw it. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end gunner. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 42. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Down inside the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. 
on the draw. Here's Sanders. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A dump down to McKinnon. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Working with second and five now. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. These guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. And across the midfield, strike into Eagle territory. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. They'll look to pick it up with McKinnon. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it.
line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And he fires one that's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing his hurts. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, CD, and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in their red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And it's caught. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And Kansas City's offense now set ready to go. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Second and two. Oh, 
Now they'll run it on the toss. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mahomes going to throw to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. Screen play, McKinnon. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave them still about eight or nine to go on third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what did they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how did they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, that's you, partner. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Pushes him over. And he'll find a little space. He gets us up near the team. Second six yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to pump the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that's complete to Sanders. 
And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. Room here to run. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hertz is going to try and run. Gets past one man. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Well, I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh, my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 41. An option handoff given to Sanders. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Derek Nadi makes the tackle. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball, possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And once again, this is Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Second and 11 now. They'll look to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Watkins. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. 
Back to throw again. And one more time, that's Watkins. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles are starting to open things up here in the Super Bowl. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Elliott on for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Thrown across his body and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. On first down, Hurts eluding the pressure right. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 53. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they're able to come away with the interception, Charles. They aren't able to move the ball all that much. However, they do get three out of it with a field goal. Yeah, and anytime you do force a turnover, you have to come out of it with points. Everybody wants six. They'll take the three there. Now it's their opportunity to do it again. Two. 
So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Taking it about the one. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And we'll be so all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in here, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have to have no halftime report by Coachman here, ladies and gentlemen. Not a Super Bowl concert we're not going to have, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have some great wrestling action here, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, great wrestling action coming your way here, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Bike Channel. Let's get to our halftime show here, ladies and gentlemen. Let go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for the halftime wrestling match here, ladies and gentlemen. We don't do concerts here, ladies and gentlemen. We are a wrestling company here, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Fight Channel. We do UFC, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Had some great UFC matches last night. Did you check it on our YouTube channel? I hope so, ladies and gentlemen. But, ladies and gentlemen, we ain't got the new look of Austin. I mean, Will Apple here, ladies and gentlemen. My God, what is in playing with this man here, ladies and gentlemen? Head to the the home of the Phoenix Suns here, ladies and gentlemen, for this matchup. Come during, ladies and gentlemen. He's a Southern Violent Wrestling Champion, ladies and gentlemen. And the Indies here down in Georgia, ladies and gentlemen. That wrestling promotion is from Athens, Georgia, ladies and gentlemen. Home of the two-time, two-time University of Georgia Bulldogs, ladies and gentlemen. He is known as Austin Towers. He is seven feet tall. 300 pounds, you like to tell everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he don't like mocking in the crowd to him here, ladies and gentlemen. Bring some hot pickles. Woo! You're on fire! My mouth on fire! Ah! Woo! Ho! Ho! Woo! Woo! Baby! It's on fire! And come to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. He is our. What happened to Tag Team Cam here in Deep South Wrestling World Class Wrestling Shows, ladies and gentlemen? He is Will Alpha. They call me a Damn, he's shooting an arrow into the sky. Imaginary arrow here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Worry about ladies and gentlemen. As soon as this match over, we'll be heading back to the football arena for the second half of Super Bowl 57, ladies and gentlemen. What a first half that was, ladies and gentlemen. My God. What a second half being better, ladies and gentlemen. You will find out soon after this match is over with, ladies and gentlemen. And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this station. Ooh, I got fleas. Oh, oh, I got fleas. Oh. I wonder what I'm coming with me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. What's going on with me? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Look at the face of dang on Will Alpha. I seen it earlier in the week, but now this is all for real here, ladies and gentlemen. But Austin Towers not intimidated by Will Alpha here. He's just throwing him around like a sack. A sack of potatoes. He caught him, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful neck breaker there. What is he thinking here, ladies and gentlemen? Calling a shot on Austin Towers here. Walking in beautiful missile drop kick to the big man. That's one way to keep the big man down here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, what a crazy leg drop that was. 
Tell him to get up here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't waste too much time there, uh, Will Alpha. Beautiful moose out there. Going for that pin. One. That's a one count, ladies and gentlemen. One count here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, he is going to face double A for the tag team titles at lockdown, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a match that's going on, ladies and gentlemen, with the top four team. One versus four. Two versus three. Whoever wins them match will face each other and be the number one contender later on in the week or next week, ladies and gentlemen, because we still got about two weeks before February 26th. Our lockdown pay per view, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Lockdown pay per view. Coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. And they do have a 10 count to get in the ring here, ladies and gentlemen. They come out of draw. Both men will be eliminated from the tournament, and the person that one of these guys would have faced will get a free ride to the finals in their group stage. They can just pose their by dang on. Austin Towers. Oh, body shot too. Dang on. Will Alpha coming in here, ladies and gentlemen. What he got on his back there? Okay, Will Alpha. Kind of crazy tattoo back there. This is backbreaker. Not one, but two of them, ladies and gentlemen. Throwing them around like a sack of trash in just a one count. He's right back at it, ladies and gentlemen. Right back at it here. And what do you got playing here, ladies and gentlemen? Hammerlock. Pick up into a back slam. We'll have a roll out of the way. Throwing his haymakers there. Move out of the way. Oh, well, oh my God. Well, I just got ran over. Oh my God. Austin Tower trying to make a Spectacle of Will Alpha, ladies and gentlemen. The new look Will Alpha. Got rid of the Puma gear now. You know, the good vicious DDT, ladies and gentlemen. Slowly. Going for that pin, ladies and gentlemen. Could this be at one? Two. No, no, no. Austin Tower says, ladies and gentlemen. Not yet here, ladies and gentlemen. What is he thinking here, ladies and gentlemen? He got him set up here, ladies and gentlemen. No, look good. Double axe handle to the forehead. And people are taking a picture of this man, Will Alpha, in the ring here, ladies and gentlemen. Picking up his opponent here. Another DDT. That, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling it. Told you that was it, ladies and gentlemen. He goes on to the next round, ladies and gentlemen. Will Alpha here. Woo! David, oh my god, and there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Will Alpha, and we might get some respect here, ladies and gentlemen. You can watch me work in my element, anyone in the way is irrelevant. Want to cross me, cool, not intelligent, because I don't forget. Respect between these two guys here. All right, like to see that here, ladies and gentlemen, on the fight channel. If I got time, yes, sir, we know I'm always ready. I got a hand real steady. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the halftime show is over. Will they get to the second half? Can Kansas City come back, ladies and gentlemen, or will it just be a blowout? Because Philadelphia might be just the better team between these two to head back to State Farm Arena, ladies and gentlemen, for this matchup. Just get out. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the Chiefs are ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great. But perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, 
it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. They'll start on the ground here on first down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Mahomes. He finds McKinnon, complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Or maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. On first down now, run with McKinnon. A strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing again on second down, Mahomes. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. They fake the give. Now Mahomes on the move to his left. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is incomplete. Look at the possible miscommunication there because that's a curl route and ends up throwing it high. Somehow they just didn't have the timing or understand what each one was doing. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. Made his first. This now from 42 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the and just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. kick it away. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. It's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Throws this one right side to Pascal. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield, and there's another completion. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Hurt's going to give it to Sanders on the option. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard. His tight end over the middle. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Throwing is Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. They go back to the ground with Sanders. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Hurts sets up to throw it. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Eagles are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl.
Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're, they're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Elliott now to have the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Steps away to his left. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. Let's take it inside his own 40. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They go play action with Hertz. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. 
He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete on second down here's the option and he'll go down at the 28 He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 24, Hurts. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll leave him with a third and two. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. 114 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. Miles Sanders, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken a six-touchdown lead. On third down, it's short and everything well executed. He not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they made play action yet? They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play.
play it good on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Mahomes now on first down. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Third quarter action in Super Bowl 57. Here's a second and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Screenplay, McKinnon. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. There he goes, left side. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. even larger here in the third quarter. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. They'll start this drive out on the ground. 
And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second and nine, Mahomes, he's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I think it's safe to say he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. Here's the Chiefs punter now. As he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taking it about the 16. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And they're obviously right now in the driver's seat comfortably ahead. They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles. And I mean, for them, I guess it's just more of the same, right? Keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's not typical for us to see games out of reach in the third quarter. Right now, they're unstoppable in this one. And seeing how they just came out onto the field, it does appear like they're done scoring points in this one. They look awfully confident. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped it. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Hurd's going to keep it again. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. The Chiefs offense set to go. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be out of bounds across 
the 30 yard line. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Now right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They run with Sanders off the option, and they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. They'll go again with Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 145 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Back to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. 
And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on 31. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They'll run with Sanders. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and the big yardage on that line. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Ooh, the juke. Pretty sizable gain of eight that time on the keeper, but now it's fourth down. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they've had that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point, where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is, for this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of solid notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now Mahomes. He finds McKinnon complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Yeah. 
So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And it was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This time, they face a third and two. From the gun, it's Mahomes. For the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Do you think after that last run, they're thinking to themselves, we had to wait all day to play this night game, and we're still not able to run the ball the way we want to? Yeah, this defense, they've risen to the challenge all evening long. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Juju Smith-Schuster on a touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Passes as opposed to block, 
but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Another run with Sanders. And a nice run past the 30 yard line there. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. From the gun, it's Hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. Well, this one probably not the close game you would expect or hope to see in prime time, CD. But, of course, that wasn't their intent in preparing for this one. They said they felt like their offense was ready to put up some points. And, my goodness, it has been a dominant display in front of a national audience. Yeah, they thought it. And it certainly came to fruition, didn't it? They've been dominant in so many ways in this one. If you weren't paying attention to this group before, you certainly are now after seeing this type of victory from them. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. An option handoff given to Sanders. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. Down to the 42, second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a Super Bowl that was. What a blowout, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God, 58 to 13, ladies and gentlemen. The Eagles were just, just, just too much for the Kansas City Chiefs, ladies and gentlemen. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading back to the Phoenix Sun Arena for our last great wrestling match here, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget, we're going to have the after show coming here at 10, 30 p.m. Eastern Time, ladies and gentlemen, on our YouTube channel. More great matches on that. Yeah, I tell you cooler people that you know who won the Super Bowl. Congratulations to Philadelphia Eagles for winning that up, ladies and gentlemen, and head to our last matchup of the evening here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the last matchup here, ladies and gentlemen, here? My God, here, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget we do have the after wrestling show, the Super Bowl edition at 10, 30 p.m. Eastern Time, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you check that out. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a matchup versus Shane Green and Kevin Ray. here, ladies and gentlemen. Head to the arena for this one here, ladies and gentlemen. The home of the Phoenix Sun we're at, ladies and gentlemen. We got, thank you for having us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And coming to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, he is part of the, what are we playing that is Lion Pride, yeah, Lion Pride faction, ladies and gentlemen, he is known as Shane Green, ladies and gentlemen, Shane Green, coming to the ring uh, right here, ladies and gentlemen. I think a minute, what faction was in? You think I noticed, but... But uh, old timers kicking in, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, old timer. And just watch a crazy football game. If your team did not win the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen, there's always next year, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget about that. There's always next year that your team can get there. Or not. <laughs> I made a joke. How you like that? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to get his opponent out here, ladies and gentlemen. Just a few seconds here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. -y! That's right, guys. Yes, sir. -y! Got it. You guys wonder who I'm talking to? I'm talking to these stupid wrestlers just got back from the Super Bowl. Back here want to watch this match here. Back there in the back. You know that good catering food back there. And drinking up the drinks. And ladies and gentlemen, he's known as Kevin Ray.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, look like damn Kevin Rage ready to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Will he make it to the semifinal in his group stage here, ladies and gentlemen? We are getting ready to find out, or will be Shane Green, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. They are ready to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Our last matchup here, ladies and gentlemen, of the show. From Super Bowl 57, ladies and gentlemen. Whoop into the corner there. It don't look good for Shane Green here, ladies and gentlemen. This man is trying to make quick work here, ladies and gentlemen. He is a submission machine. You've never seen this man in a match, ladies and gentlemen. He loves to submit his people here, ladies and gentlemen. Submit these guys in the, in the ring and move on into something better, ladies and gentlemen. And womp, womp, womp. Totally missed there, ladies and gentlemen. He is totally fell there, ladies and gentlemen. What do you got playing here, ladies and gentlemen? Don't look good for dang on, uh... Shane Green here. Like there, ladies and gentlemen. My God. Duck under all oh, dump him on his head, ladies and gentlemen. Going for that pin. We got a one, two. It's a two pin kick out. Two pin kick out, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. Yeah, woo, baby. Back and forth, these two go. Shane Green said, I'm not a lightweight here. Rocking Kevin Rage here, ladies and gentlemen. And my guy, Snake Eyes here, ladies and gentlemen. Snake Eyes. We see Snake Eyes. You don't look. Oh, elbow coming in. I talked a little too early. I thought it didn't look too good for it. on Kevin Rage, but now the crowd on the feet, ladies and gentlemen, they know this is the last match here from Super Bowl 57. I said, ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl 57, beautiful moonsault there. Wasting no time, flicking more pain to Kevin Rage. But this man loved pain, I heard. He loved, he endured it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how many people can endure pain, but he does, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful maneuver by Shane Green. One, two. Wow. Wow. Who expect that one, ladies and gentlemen? I believe this is a upset here, ladies and gentlemen. Here, wow, the wowzer, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to end out the show here, ladies and gentlemen. Here. Woo. My God. Know what I got to say. And they're gonna shake hands here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice respect between these two guys here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to end out our Super Bowl 57 here on the Fight Channel, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That in out our Super Bowl edition here, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles winning here, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight. And thank you, Phoenix, for having us here, letting us put on your. Showing the Super Bowl here on the Fight Channel, ladies and gentlemen. Great three matches, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, we still got one more show from Phoenix. It's the After Dark Show, ladies and gentlemen, at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the YouTube channel. This channel right here. Notifications up. Make sure you talk about it, ladies and gentlemen, at your water cooler, ladies and gentlemen. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here, ladies and gentlemen, we do an hour of show a different way. Do a 10 by salute to honor all our men and women referees. Men and Men and women wrestlers and referees that passed away, ladies and gentlemen, and to all the military personnel, man and female that had never made home from war. We see you on the next show, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.